Probably the toughest point in my career was I came across to Carlton uh, my second year, the first minute of the first game, dislocated my shoulder um, and was season done. So in terms of trying to start fresh in a new club and make an impact, um, escape a bit of that media scrutiny and then have it all heaped on you again. And coupled with that, four days later, I had the birth of my first child. So it was a bit of the, the yin and yang of um, on life in a sort of a week. Looking back now, um, you know, I probably wish I had have delved a little bit deeper into coping with the injury first and then the excitement of being a first time dad. You know, when those disappointments come along now, it's something I look back on and make sure I deal with so they don't build up and bubble away under the surface. I think for too long I went and took the, the weight of the world on my shoulders in terms of not reaching out to people or not talking about what was actually affecting me calling on my support networks um, and just even just to speak about them really helps to get them off your chest and relieve a bit of that pressure. Meditation and time to check in has certainly helped making mindfulness uh, part of my weekly routine. It helps me to not just rely on those things when everything's going bad. Uh, so when things sort of compound and they are going really bad, I can still check in with myself regularly just to make sure they don't compound to a point where I have to reach out or you start feeling down in the dumps. The things that I use to keep me in a, a good headspace, if I have the chance, I love to go surfing. Um, I think sort of getting out there with nature is a, a way that I can relax. You know, I get away from my phone and all the distractions that that brings. Even just a simple walk in the park is something that I really enjoy doing and allows me to clear my mind.